All right, in this video, we are gonna learn how to identify fractions and name fractions and build fractions. So we're gonna learn all about what that top number means in the fraction, it's called the numerator, what the denominator means, that's the bottom number. So let's get started. So when we talk about a fraction, like let's say it's 3 fourths. So that bottom number, four, that's called the denominator. And that denominator, denominator, that indicates how many pieces the whole has been cut into. And the top number is called the numerator, numerator. And that tells us how many pieces are we talking about or how many pieces are being emphasized or how many pieces are we did we eat for breakfast, right? And so, here's an example. Let's say we've got a candy bar, and we want to indicate what does three-fourths of this candy yeah. bar look like, all right? Well, that yeah. four, meaning the denominator, indicates that our candy bar has been cut up into four pieces. So let's cut it up into four equal-sized pieces. That's the key, not just four pieces, but for equal pieces, equally sized pieces. And right here, I can see that there are four equal sized pieces. Now this three means we've got to shade in three of those pieces. All right, and that's what that indicates. That's So we've got one, two, three pieces. And so what we've just done is we've got this chunk right here, this, indicates three-fourths because we know that the whole thing has been cut up into four pieces. One, two, three, four. Three of them are shaded in, so this is three-fourths. Let's go put this into practice. So if we have the fraction two-thirds right here, and we want to show what does two-thirds look like in um, an area model, well, that three means we have, we need to cut our area into three pieces. That little three means we gotta cut it into three pieces and that two means we need to shade in two of them. One, two, all right? Now that's with the area model. If we were gonna do the same thing with the number line, well, that three means we need to cut this number line into three equally sized pieces and I'm going to try and do my best, and that kind of feels like I've created three. Now, you'll notice I only use two lines, but I need to create three equal pieces. One, two, three, so because of the three. And then to indicate the two, I'm just going to kind of use my pen, and I'm just going to go boom, there. There's my two-thirds right there. So that's I'm using this arch to indicate the two and then over here, some other picture. So if I want to indicate two-thirds using this big thing, that means I need to cut this whole thing into three equal-sized pieces. So if I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, I have fifteen little squares, don't I? So that means each piece each of my three pieces is actually going to be five squares. Uh, let's use my green. So let's see. I got one, two, three, four. <laughs> I don't know where to go. Five. So, all right. So that means right here indicates one piece right there. That indicates one piece. That means one, two, three, four, five. That indicates a second piece. There's five. And then that final one, two, three, four, five is down here. And so that is right here. And so there's my three pieces. And if I want to shade in two, of them. Oh, it doesn't matter which two. Let's do this green one and let's do the blue one. And there's my indication of two thirds. So we have three different ways to show two thirds the area model, the number line, 
and some other weird area thing where we cut it up into three equal pieces. They're, they don't all look the same, but they're equal sized because they're all five, right? And then we shaded in two of them. Just more practice. What does this five-eighths mean? This five-eighths means we're going to cut this area into f eight equal sized pieces. And oh, and what's really kind of cool is we could do this. There's my eight. And if I want to shade in five of them, I just pick any five of them. One, two, three, four, five. I don't even have to have them all be next to each other. There's my five. Uh, number line. What is that number line? That Well, I need to cut it into eight equal-sized pieces. And I'm going to start by cutting it in the middle. Cut each of those in half. Cut each of those in half. So now I have eight equal intervals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I need to go over five of them. Uh, so let's see. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. And there is my five eighths. And then this last one, I need to figure out how to cut this into eight equal sized pieces. So I am going to zoom in right here and let's do some counting. So when we do some counting, we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So we have 24 little squares, and we need to, um, we need to cut it up into eight groups. Well, that means each group is going to be three squares. There's one. Oh, let's get a thicker pen here. Here's one, here's one, and notice every time I have three squares, that's going to count as a piece. And then I've got another one right here, and then let's do another one right here, and let's do another green one right here, and then finally our yellow one. And then, in order to indicate five-eighths, Right? In order to indicate five-eighths, I just need to shade in any five of them. And, oh, let's do um, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. There's my five-eighths because I cut it up into five, uh, eight pieces, and then I shaded it in, shaded in five of those. And that's my area model. Last one is if we wanted to uh, indicate uh, what this is. Well, I need to first identify how many pieces it's been cut into. And I see one, two, three, four pieces. So I know because it's been cut into four equal sized pieces, the denominator is four. And because I only see this one that's been shaded in, I know that the numerator is a one. So the fraction is one-fourth.